Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's Friday. So it is time for Fridays with Fred. But first, we are going to take care of channel business. We have day 12 of the stitch marker of the day from Ellie Leva at Ellie Leva's Crafts and More. This is her Halloween set. We are almost done with the Halloween set and we will pop on over to Sugar Skulls when we're done with this one. Let's see what it is. One more layer. Oh. <laughs> it's a little gravestone. It's a wooden gravestone. <laughs> see? It says R.I.P. on it. It's cute. I love it. I don't know why I'm getting such a chuckle out of this one. But I am. I like it. Let's add it to my set of stitch markers. Let's see. Three, three, three. This one has two on it. You're going to go on with the candy and the magical jack-o'-lantern. Yay! Okay, here we go. The stitch marker set as it is right now. And soon it will have one more. Okay. Now we have the final day of the Coraline Halloween countdown. So this was a yarn calendar, yarn advent, I don't know what you want to call it for Halloween, from Silly Goose Yarns. It's a mini set. It was based on the movie Coraline, which is based on the book by Neil Gaiman. And it was 13 days of minis, and I got the sparkle base. You can pick your base. So I got sparkles. This has been really fun. I'm really glad I got this. Let's see what's in here. I am crossing my fingers that I find some buttons. How can there not be buttons? There's an extra. There's... They're not buttons! <laughs> They're needle stops. <laughs> Which I guess if you wanted to, you could put like string through it and somehow figure out how to use them as buttons. I felt the middle there and I was so convinced it was a button. Okay. Get up. Shot through the heart here. So let's see what the final what the final color is. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, this is beautiful. It's a lovely blue with purples and it's like tonal blue and there's some gray in it. It is lovely. It is so pretty. I don't know if the sparkle is going to come through, but that bag behind it, I think it definitely brings the purple forward. That is beautiful. I am so happy with this set. I love it. The yarns are beautiful. The colors are beautiful, even if <laughs> I was tricked on the button front. Okay, we're going to make sure I didn't miss buttons. I got the, can the candle. Check every last bit of tissue. No! is it seemed like it was a missed opportunity on some buttons but other than that it was a beautiful beautiful set I really enjoyed it I would definitely get a set from her again I should have put that back in day 13 but I didn't these are I kind of just went over them they're beautiful flowers and we know there's the whole garden especially in well the garden at the end of the movie in the real world but in the other world there's the big fantastical garden and so flowers make sense just saying buttons <laughs> oh goodness oh I really thought I really thought that was buttons when I reached my hand in 
again. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about the buttons. I'm going to start talking about Fred. So, Fridays around these parts is Fridays with Fred. What is Fridays with Fred? I bought this book, Knitting the Neighborhood, the official knitting patterns of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I am going to make everything in the book, but you're helping me pick the project. So the very first project I made was a sweater for my husband, Brian. It was the Beginnings Cardigan. That's my bookmark. It's a whale. <laughs> um, so I made the Beginnings Cardigan, which was by Carla Patrick. Let me... I've still got all my post-it notes in there. So here we go. That was my first project. I made it in a beautiful flecked brown yarn. Um, Hayfield bonus Aaron Tweed in the color chestnut. It was glorious. He loves it. And we voted. So I nominated four different projects. And what was so interesting to me was that a different project was in the lead in each area you could vote. So you could vote on my community tab. You could vote um, in just the comments of the video. And you could vote in my Facebook group. And it was so interesting. So in the end, in the Facebook group, two of them were tied. It was the tiger puppet and the blanket. And on the community tab... The tiger was in the lead, and in the comments, in the end, in the comment section, the tiger was in the lead. No, no, okay. No, the tiger, the puppet was always in the lead in the comment section. On the community tab, for a while, the scarf was the front runner, and then the tiger the puppet overtook it at the end so final score we're gonna do the tiger puppet the daniel tiger puppet so i had the daniel tiger puppet curtains the colorful curtain scarf the neighborhood trolley toy or the won't you be my neighbor blanket which that one i honestly thought the blanket would get a little bit more love it was really the trolley that didn't get much love at all but it got a decent amount of votes. It got 19 votes overall. It will be made. We'll make everything eventually. Everything will get its day. But we are going to make this puppet next. Which is nice. So I didn't nominate a sweater because I wanted to give sweaters a break. Because, you know, once you, if you do one big one, kind of don't want to get right back into the technicality of a sweater right away but this looks like it's going to be fun um knowing that this was an option in the book i had bought this lime brand go for faux um go for for sparkle it was a pretty good deal at hirschner's and then i ended up getting white ones free from lime brand in my santa sack issue so I've got those two yarns to work with to make the tiger. I will say the gopher faux is a six weight. And in the pattern, they use the Sherpa, the fleece Sherpa, gopher fleece Sherpa, which was categorized as a seven. So I think my, my puppet will likely end up a touch smaller than the puppet in the in the pattern if I follow the dimensions I mean I'll I'll start working it and I'll see how the sizing wants to work and I can always alter the pattern up or down I'm sure I'm trying to check on it yeah I mean there's really there's a decrease oh because you're decreasing down so you make the body, and then, oh, the head is just part of the body. And then you'll cast, then you do the arms and the ears separately. And it's worked flat. It's not in the round. 
Oh, that's interesting. So back seam, yeah, and then I see the back seam right there. Wow. I work reverse stockinette stitch. Okay. Well, that's cool. And you do it um, to a length. So you work reverse stockinette for X number of inches. So if I'm using a smaller yarn, I might just have to cast on a little more. I'll cast on the stitches. I'll probably do it on a circular and then I can try to hold it up to my wrist, see how it fits. And if I have to increase from there, that's fine. Very, very doable. I don't have concerns here using a different weight of yarn. I think it'll be totally fine. Um, so I have the yarn. I have stuffing. I don't have to worry about that. Um, I've got... Yeah, I've pretty much got everything I need. I don't have... I might have the eyes already, but Mel was talking about, maybe talking about eyes, so... Mel from Lothalia's Little Hook, we will definitely chat. That was a very, very super kind offer, and I appreciate it greatly. We'll see. We'll see what works. We've got time before I'm going to need the eyeballs. So, decisions can wait there. Um, but yeah, I am excited. Oh, this pattern is by Nikki Epstein. Epstein? Epstein? I'm not sure. E-P-S-T-E-I-N. I almost spelled it wrong. Oh my goodness. But Nikki, N-I-C-K-Y. This looks so fun. And I didn't realize the, um, I guess the scarf, when I mentioned the scarf designer, somebody recognized the name. And I guess he's also a, like a fabric designer. I didn't have a chance to look him up, but that's exciting. So eventually I'll make the scarf, but they're... That's the scarf we're talking about. We're not making that though. We're making Daniel Tiger. I don't want my bookmark to fall out of the book. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for helping me. I will collect all the materials I have or need right now and start getting to work on Daniel. I have never made a puppet before. I have no concept of how long this will take me. So we're in this adventure together. Let's do it. So what do you think? Do you, I think, you know, because the body is all one, I think it would look fine if I just worked totally in the brown. And then if I needed to for like arms and legs and ears, if other legs, I know there was arms, who knows? I'll check. But for the other additional pieces, I think if I had to dip into the white, it would be fine. But I think I will focus on the brown as my main color. I was thinking about like using the brown and trying to work in the white to give it stripes or something. But this is kind of glittery. It's got glitter worked through it. So I wonder if that will make it look a bit stripey. I don't know. We'll see how fancy I want to get when I get into working with it. You never know what mood will strike while you're knitting. Who knows? Okay. So let me know if you are going to join in this puppetry adventure with me. If not, I hope you enjoy the ride and watching me create something. I am excited by this book. I, <coughs> it's like a goal to work towards and it's fun. It's Mr. Rogers. It's the nostalgia. I don't know. I'm enjoying myself. I hope you're enjoying yourself too. I will stop blabbering and talk to you later. Bye. Oh, tonight is Poor Decisions Live. We will be on after the kids go to bed somewhere around 9.30 p.m. Central Time. That's where we are. So I hope you can join us and have some fun. Not quite sure what we're doing. We have a couple of options. Maybe we'll let you pick. Who knows? It'll be fun though, I hope. Okay. Bye.